Hi guys, Mr. Rice here, and uh, in this video we'll be going over the random sprite location assignment. Uh, I'll give you a code uh, that you can start with that places two sprites randomly on the screen. The A button, pressing the A button will move one of the sprites, and uh, when the sprites overlap, then they will uh, have an event. They'll say something to each other. So let's look at that code and then we'll add a few things to that code for the assignment. So here's the uh, code that I'll be giving you. It's called random sprite location. It has a little bear that I drew and a little hunter. Now, when you restart the game, you'll notice that the bear and the hunter appear in random locations all over the screen. And when you click the A button, the hunter moves as well. And you see if I click the A button and the hunter and the bear are overlapping each other. The hunter will say, excuse me, and then he'll stop saying it when he's no longer overlapping. So to this code, let's edit it. And we will add two more sprites in random positions. Uh, we'll create another overlap event that uh, causes a new sprite to say something or we can make it do something else with a random number. And then we'll test that that overlap works with the kinds of sprites that we want. Okay, so click on edit project and we can see the code here. So you'll notice uh, the first block here says set background color. That's why I have the green background color. I have two sprites that I drew. One is the hunter sprite right there. And one is the bear sprite, which is right there. And you'll notice both sprites I have set position to and pick random, which is found in the math toolbox. You can see there's a pick random block there. And the numbers I picked, it says X pick random 15 to 145. And that's because the X axis of my screen is 160 pixels wide. So I picked a little bit more than zero and a little bit less than 160. The Y pick random is 15 to 105. And that's because the Y of my screen is zero to 120. So I picked a little less or a little more than zero and a little less than 120. Uh, you can also click on scene and you'll notice there's a screen width there and a screen height. You could put those numbers instead of like physically typing in the numbers. But for this case, uh, since we know the dimensions of this screen are 160 pixels by 120 pixels, I'm just gonna type the numbers in like that. Uh, okay, the next block here says on a button pressed. When I do that, the hunter changes his position to a new random location on my screen. So I just duplicated this block by right clicking duplicate and put it here. So now every time I click the A button, the hunter will move. And finally, I have an on sprite of kind player overlaps other sprite of kind enemy block. So you'll notice the player sprite, when I created it, it says player here, or the hunter sprite says player. The bear sprite says enemy. And you can change those to whatever kind of sprite you like. There's player, projectile, food, enemy, or you can call it a new kind of sprite. So the hunter is a player, the bear is an enemy. So for the assignment, let's add two more sprites uh, with random locations, and let's cause them to do something as well. So I'm going to add a new sprite by clicking on Sprite. Set my sprite to uh, like so. Let's move these guys out of the way a little bit. And let's pick a new sprite. I encourage you to draw a new sprite. But uh, for the sake of time, I'm going to pick one from the gallery. Uh, let's pick a uh, cheeseburger here. All right, so now I got a big cheeseburger in the middle of my screen. Uh, maybe I'm gonna pick a smaller cheeseburger. Oh yeah, the smaller one is up here. There we go. That's the big cheeseburger. I want the small cheeseburger. Oh, okay, that's much better size. So let's rename the Sprite to Burger. Like I said though, you should create your own Sprite. And let's set the position of burger to a random location. So let's set position of burger to pick random, which is 
math toolbox for the X. Pick random for the Y. So uh, since I want it in my screen size, it says zero to 10 right now. Let's change it to 15, 145. And for the Y axis, let's do pick random from 15 to 105. Okay, let's add one more sprite. Oh, before we move on, when you create a sprite, the default kind is player. I don't want it to be a player sprite. I want it to be a food sprite. So I'm gonna click food because we'll be adding an overlap later. Okay, so let's move these guys down because we're going to add one more sprite. Let's change the sprite to, let's do an ice cream. We're going to rename this variable to ice cream. Okay. Oh, that's a mistake. Let's try that again. Create new sprite. We had a little bug there. No, why is it doing that? Huh, we have a little bug here. We're gonna call it a new variable, ice cream. Hopefully you don't have to do that on yours. It should say my sprite. Okay, now it seems to be working. So let's select ice cream from the toolbox or the gallery right there. And let's change the kind to food. And we'll do the same thing as before. We will set position two of ice cream. Uh, instead of uh, doing that all manually, I'm going to right click on one of the blocks that I already had and click duplicate. Change it to ice cream. Now, if you don't want to use 15 to 145 for the X and 15 to 105 for the Y, like I said, you could also do screen width and screen height in the scene toolbox. So let's see if that works. So I'm gonna do screen width. We'll just say zero to screen width for the X axis and zero to screen height for the Y axis. And it should do the same thing. And that is nice because even if the dimensions of our screen change, it will still go the full length, which is good. You'll notice sometimes it gets a little cut off though like that. That's why it's nice to have numbers less than the screen width. And you can change that too, but no worries here. Okay, so let's create an overlap when the hunter overlaps with the food now. So when it interacts with the bear, it says, excuse me. When it interacts with the food, let's have it do something else. So an overlap is found here. We'll go to Sprite's toolbox. Overlaps is near the bottom. So now it says on sprite of kind player overlaps other sprite of kind. Change this one to food. And let's have the hunter say yum yum when he gets the food. So we'll do sprites say like this. Yummy. So now when my hunter interacts with either of the food sprites, he should say yummy like this. Let's also add a pick random feature to our sprites. If you click on sprites, you can see there's lots of effects that you can do. Uh, there's also like physics you can add. Let's change the velocity of the sprite and see what happens. So we're going to set Oh, and we don't want burger to say, we want hunter to say. And then we want to set the velocity of our other sprite, not our burger, because it could be the burger or the ice cream. So you just grab the other, grab the other sprite variable and put it in set velocity. So let's do set velocity to a pick random. Pick random X random y. Now, uh, you don't uh, have to do zero to some number. You can also use negative numbers. So let's do negative 20 to 20 for both of the x and the y. 
Now, when my hunter interacts with the food sprite, if I can get him to land on it, he should say yummy and look at that, the burger starts moving around a little bit and there he goes. Now he's gone. Maybe I can get the ice cream too. Maybe I won't get so lucky. No, I'm not gonna be so lucky. Uh, one other thing I should add, uh, he doesn't stop saying yummy unless you click the little plus sign here and then you have a time limit when he says his uh, saying. So I have 500 here, you can change it to one second or you can just leave it like that. That's kind of nice. So this overlap works with all of my food sprites. But like I said, you can pick whatever sprite you want uh, whatever sprite kind you want. So what did we do? We added two new kinds of sprites to our code. We gave them random positions and we added a new overlap with our new kind of sprite. So there you can see the full code. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful. Like I said, I encourage you to add your own sprites, your own effects. Uh, don't just use them from the gallery because uh, I like to see your creativity and your artwork. Okay, good luck on that. Uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, I'll see you later. Bye guys.